I'm Gwilym Pugh, and I'm going to explore how the warming of our frozen planet is affecting coastal communities like this one here in Fairborn. Carbon dioxide levels are the highest they've been in 800,000 years, which means that towns like Fairborn and their communities are at immediate risk of displacement due to rising sea levels. Sea levels are rising globally because the ice caps are melting. This is because temperatures are increasing across the planet due to the greenhouse gas effect. Solar radiation passes through the atmosphere and is absorbed by the planet, some of which is re-emitted as infrared radiation or heat. Carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are really efficient at storing heat. So as the concentration of these gases increases, the atmosphere traps more heat and the planet warms. If we reduce emissions, we can slow down the rising sea levels. That's why I went to visit the Centre for Alternative Technology. Just a few kilometres away from Fairborn, they have been pioneering research into clean energy solutions to reduce the use of fossil fuels and the greenhouse gases they produce. The CAT is a solution-based charity and organisation. What do you look at? Well, it's solutions to the climate and the biodiversity emergencies that we face, solutions that can inspire, inform and enable change in all sectors of society. What can people do when they come here? They can come and spend a day wandering through the site, they can come on a short course and get specific skills to do with rammed earth or to do with soil restoration, they can come on a master's course and make it part of their career, but also rather than just getting it from a university, when you come here we get the students building round earth walls. We get the students doing nature restoration. We get them building a timber frame bridge across. So you actually get their hands on real stuff. And then they work as a team. They can't get from just watching PowerPoint. That's, That's doing and touching and smelling and feeling. Absolutely. In my experience, it's those moments where you're immersed in an environment and you're exposed to things that you hadn't necessarily thought that you would be interested in that really inspires and motivates you to continue to make a positive change. And it inspires us because we see all the people coming on the master's courses or the short courses or even the visitors who are in a search for solutions because they want to yeah. make their life, their career path, what they do, part of this movement for change for solutions. There are opportunities to immerse yourself in solution-based environments that are enjoyable and inspiring. It doesn't have to feel like hard work to protect our planet.